So, you want to learn about Western Dragons? Welcome to Western Dragons 101, where we introduce you to the awe-inspiring world of these formidable creatures. Western Dragons are renowned for their fiery breath, immense strength, and fearsome presence. Often depicted as powerful and malevolent beings, they have become iconic figures in European mythology. These legendary creatures guard treasures, terrorize kingdoms, and challenge heroes in countless tales, each one rich with its own unique lore and symbolism. The typical European dragon is depicted as a massive, fearsome creature with distinctly reptilian features. Their bodies are large and muscular, covered in tough, often scaly skin that can range in color from deep greens and browns to vibrant reds and golds. These dragons possess bat-like wings that allow them to soar through the skies, their wingspans often extending to great lengths. Their heads are adorned with sharp horns and menacing eyes that convey both intelligence and malice. Sharp claws and teeth further emphasize their predatory nature, making them formidable adversaries in any mythological tale. Many European dragons also have long, sinuous tails, sometimes ending in a spiked or clubbed tip, adding to their overall fearsome appearance. Western dragons are renowned for their incredible powers and abilities, which make them some of the most formidable creatures in mythology. One of their most iconic abilities is fire breathing. Dragons can unleash torrents of flame from their mouths, capable of incinerating entire villages or melting stone. This fiery breath is often depicted as their primary weapon, used to defend their lairs or attack those who dare to challenge them. In addition to their fire-breathing capabilities, Western dragons possess immense strength, allowing them to crush foes, lift heavy objects, and tear through armor with ease. Their powerful wings grant them the ability to fly, making them even more dangerous as they can attack from the air or swoop down upon unsuspecting prey. Many Western dragons are also attributed with magical abilities. Some can cast spells or enchantments, further enhancing their mystique and power. Shapeshifting is another ability often associated with these dragons, enabling them to transform into human or other forms to deceive and manipulate. These supernatural powers combined with their physical might make Western dragons some of the most revered and feared creatures in mythological lore. Western dragons have ancient origins with some of the earliest references appearing in Mesopotamian and Greek mythology. The Babylonian myth of Tiamat, a primordial chaos dragon, is one of the earliest known dragon-like creatures. Tiamat is described in the Enuma Elish, an ancient Babylonian creation myth, as a monstrous dragon who personifies the sea and chaos. She is ultimately defeated by the god Marduk, symbolizing the triumph of order over chaos. In Greek mythology, Dragons also play significant roles. The Lernian Hydra, a multi-headed serpent slain by Hercules, and the dragon Ladon, who guarded the golden apples in the Garden of the Hesperides, are notable examples. These early depictions set the stage for the Western dragon's evolution into the formidable and fearsome creatures seen in later European mythology. Western dragons are prominent in a variety of mythological stories and legends often portrayed as antagonists that heroes must overcome. One of the most famous tales is the legend of St. George and the Dragon. St. George, a Christian martyr, is said to have slain a dragon that was terrorizing a town, saving a princess, and converting the townspeople to Christianity. This story, which has origins in medieval Christian legend, symbolizes the victory of good over evil and has become an enduring symbol in Western culture. Another notable example is the dragon in the Old English epic poem, Beowulf. In this tale, the hero Beowulf faces a dragon in his final battle. The dragon, enraged by a stolen treasure, wreaks havoc on Beowulf's kingdom. Although Beowulf defeats the dragon, he is mortally wounded in the process. In many cultures, dragons are seen as embodiments of the primal forces of nature that must be tamed or overcome. They are frequently depicted as hoarders of treasure, symbolizing the destructive power of avarice. Dragons also play an important role in religious texts and heraldry. In Christian symbolism, dragons are often depicted as representations of Satan or evil, to be vanquished by saints and martyrs. The Book of Revelation describes a great red dragon, symbolizing the devil and his downfall. In heraldry, dragons are used as symbols of strength, 
protection, and nobility, many noble families adopted the dragon as a heraldic symbol, reflecting its associations with power and guardianship. The Welsh dragon, for example, is a prominent national symbol of Wales, representing bravery and resilience. Western dragons have left a significant mark on cultural artifacts and architecture across Europe and beyond. Tangible evidence of their influence can be found in numerous sculptures, paintings, and architectural elements. In various European cities, dragon sculptures adorn public spaces, symbolizing strength, protection, and mythical heritage. Notable examples include the Dragon Bridge in Ljubljana, Slovenia, where four dragon statues guard the bridge, reflecting the city's folklore and mythical connections. Medieval and Renaissance art often depicted dragons in religious and mythological contexts. Artists like Paolo Cello and Raphael painted dramatic scenes of dragons being slain by saints or heroes, emphasizing the triumph of good over evil. These artworks were not only religious symbols, but also conveyed moral lessons and cultural values. Dragons are frequently depicted in medieval tapestries and illuminated manuscripts. The Apocalypse Tapestry, a 14th century French work, vividly portrays the dragon of the Book of Revelation. Similarly, manuscripts like the Bestiary Collections feature detailed illustrations and descriptions of dragons, blending natural history with mythology. Historical accounts of European dragon sightings are abundant in medieval chronicles and folklore. One famous account comes from the 12th century chronicler Gervais of Tilbury, who reported numerous dragon sightings in England. These dragons were often described as large winged creatures with the ability to breathe fire. Another well-known sighting is the legend of the Lambton Worm, a dragon-like creature said to have terrorized the area around the River Ware in County Durham, England during the 14th century. In modern times, reports of dragon-like creatures in Europe are rare and often dismissed as misidentifications or hoaxes. However, dragon symbolism remains strong, especially in areas with rich dragon lore. Festivals and reenactments, such as the St. George's Day celebrations in England, keep the myth of the European dragon alive in contemporary culture. Knuckers are a type of water-dwelling dragon from Sussex, England. They are typically depicted as smaller and more serpentine than the typical European dragon. Knuckers have long, sinuous bodies covered in smooth, often green or blue scales, which help them blend into their aquatic environments. They possess small vestigial wings and are known for their sharp teeth and claws. Their eyes are often described as glowing with an eerie light, and they are associated with knucker holes, deep pools of water where they are said to reside. Knuckers are known for their agility and speed in water. They can move swiftly and silently, making them effective ambush predators. While smaller than typical European dragons, they are still formidable due to their sharp teeth and claws. Knuckers are also said to have the ability to create whirlpools and manipulate water to their advantage. The knucker is a type of water-dwelling dragon from Sussex, England. The term knucker is derived from the Old English word nikor, meaning water monster. Stories of knuckers date back to medieval times with one of the earliest known references found in local Sussex folklore. Knuckers are often associated with knucker holes, deep water-filled pits believed to be the homes of these dragons. Knuckers appear in local Sussex legends. One well-known story is that of the Lyminster Knucker, a dragon that was eventually slain by a knight or a clever villager using a poison pie. The Knucker's association with water and its role as a local menace underscore its cultural significance in Sussex folklore. Stories of villagers or knights defeating Knuckers highlight themes of local heroism and the triumph over natural dangers. These tales reflect the community's relationship with their natural environment and the challenges they faced. There have been no credible modern sightings of knuckers, but the legend persists in local culture. The term knucker hole is still used to describe deep pools of water in Sussex, and the tales of the knucker are celebrated in local folklore and history. Givre are wingless dragons from French folklore, often associated with water. They are depicted as large, serpent-like creatures with elongated bodies and smooth, glossy scales. Givres have no wings, but they possess powerful, coiling bodies that allow them to move swiftly through water and on land. Their heads are adorned with long, sharp fangs and forked tongues, and they are often described as having a fearsome, intimidating presence. Givres are typically associated with rivers, 
lakes, and other bodies of water. Givre, lacking wings, rely on their powerful coiling bodies and sharp fangs for defense and attack. They are known to have control over water and can summon floods or create water barriers. Their presence is often associated with illness or misfortune, and they are feared for their ability to poison water sources. The term givre comes from the Latin word vipera, meaning viper or snake. Givre are mentioned in medieval French texts and folklore, where they are depicted as fearsome serpentine creatures. They are often linked to rivers, lakes, and wells, and are sometimes blamed for poisoning water sources. Givre are depicted in French folklore as menacing serpent-like creatures, often associated with water. They are sometimes blamed for causing droughts or spreading diseases. In some tales, heroes or saints confront Givre to protect their communities, emphasizing the dragon's role as a malevolent force that must be vanquished. Givre in French folklore symbolize the dangers lurking in natural water sources and the need to purify and protect these vital resources. The battles between heroes or saints and Givre often symbolize the triumph of purity and goodness over corruption and evil, reinforcing moral and religious themes. Givre are depicted in medieval French manuscripts and bestiaries, where they are often illustrated as serpent-like creatures. These manuscripts, such as the Bestiaire d'Amour, contain detailed descriptions and illustrations of Givre, highlighting their association with water and their fearsome nature. One notable account involves Saint-Romain of Rouen, who is said to have vanquished a Givre that was terrorizing the local populace in the 7th century. Modern reports of Givre sightings are scarce, but the creature remains a part of French folklore. The Givre's legacy is preserved in local legends and cultural references, especially in regions known for their medieval history. Linworms are serpent-like dragons common in Germanic mythology. They have long, snake-like bodies with two forelimbs but no hind legs, making them more earthbound than other dragon types. Linworms are covered in tough, often green or brown scales, and they possess sharp claws on their forelimbs. Their heads are adorned with horns or spikes, and they have fierce, predatory eyes. Linworms are often depicted as guardians of treasure or as harbingers of doom, and they are known for their incredible strength and resilience. Linworms possess immense strength and resilience. They are known for their ability to crush prey with their powerful coils and are often depicted as nearly invincible, requiring special weapons or methods to defeat them. Their earthbound nature makes them formidable opponents in underground or enclosed spaces. Linworms are serpent-like dragons common in Germanic mythology. The term linworm is derived from the old high German words lint, serpent, and worm, dragon or serpent. Linworms symbolize both protection and danger in Germanic and Scandinavian folklore. As guardians of treasure, they represent the idea of valuable rewards being guarded by formidable challenges. As omens of disaster, they reflect the unpredictable and often dangerous aspects of the natural world. Linworms are frequently depicted on runestones and carvings in Scandinavian and Germanic regions. These ancient stones often feature intricate designs of linworms, intertwined with other mythical creatures, reflecting their importance in local mythology. Linworms appear in various Germanic and Scandinavian sagas and literature. The Valsunga saga, for example, includes the tale of Sigurd slaying the dragon Fafnir, who is often depicted as a linworm. These stories have been passed down through generations, highlighting the cultural significance of linworms. Lindworm sightings are prevalent in Germanic and Scandinavian folklore. The legend of the Lindworm King in Denmark tells of a monstrous serpent that was ultimately slain by a hero, reflecting the creature's fearsome reputation. While modern sightings of lindworms are virtually non-existent, the creature remains an important part of regional folklore. Stories of lindworms are still told in German and Scandinavian cultures, and they are featured in various festivals and cultural events that celebrate local mythology. Zimais are multi-headed dragons in Russian folklore, often depicted as malevolent creatures. They have large muscular bodies covered in scales that can range in color, from dark greens to fiery reds. Zimais typically have three or more heads, each with its own personality and capabilities. These dragons possess powerful wings that enable them to fly, and their tails are often barbed or spiked. 
Zimais are known for their immense strength, fire-breathing abilities, and cunning nature. They are often portrayed as antagonists in Russian fairy tales, where heroes must defeat them to restore peace. Zimais are multi-headed dragons with the ability to breathe fire or other elements from each of their heads. They are known for their cunning and strategic minds, often outsmarting their opponents. Zimais can also cast spells and are resistant to many forms of attack due to their tough scales and multiple heads. The word Zmei means serpent or dragon in Russian. Zmei Gorinik, a famous dragon in Russian tales, typically has three heads and is known for breathing fire. Stories of Zmeis date back to Slavic mythology with references found in medieval Russian literature and oral traditions. In Russian folklore, Zmei sightings are commonly mentioned in medieval chronicles and epic poems. These multi-headed dragons were often depicted as destructive forces that heroes had to defeat. The tale of Zmei Gornik, a three-headed dragon, is a famous example, with various historical references describing its encounters with Russian heroes. Zmeis are depicted in Russian folk art and embroidery, often as multi-headed dragons breathing fire. These artistic representations can be found on traditional garments, household items, and religious icons, reflecting the dragon's place in Russian culture. Contemporary reports of Zmei sightings are rare, but the dragon remains a powerful symbol in Russian culture. The stories of Zmei Gorinik and other dragons are celebrated in Russian literature, art, and festivals, keeping the myth alive in modern times. Tatzel worms are dragons from Alpine folklore, particularly in Switzerland and Northern Italy. They are depicted as small, serpent-like creatures with cat-like heads and short, stubby forelimbs. Tatzel worms have elongated, smooth bodies covered in scales that can range in color from green to brown. They are known for their agility and their ability to move quickly through mountainous terrain. Tatzel worms are often associated with mystery and fear, and sightings of these creatures are considered ominous. Tatzel worms are often associated with poison and are said to have a venomous bite. They are also believed to have the ability to induce fear or panic in those who encounter them. The Tatzel worm is a dragon from Alpine folklore, particularly in Switzerland and Northern Italy. The name Tatzel worm means clawed worm in German. Tales of Tatzel worms date back to the 16th century with numerous sightings reported in Alpine regions. Tatzel worms are shrouded in mystery and fear in Alpine folklore. Sightings and encounters with these creatures are often associated with bad omens or impending disasters. Local legends and reported sightings of tatzel worms have been documented over the centuries with detailed descriptions and illustrations of these mysterious creatures. In the Alpine regions, the influence of the tatzel worm is seen in place names and cultural references. The creature is often mentioned in local stories and traditions, reflecting its significance in the folklore of these mountainous areas. Sightings were often reported by travelers and villagers in the Swiss and Austrian Alps. While modern sightings of tatzel worms are rare, occasional reports still emerge from the Alpine regions. These sightings are often dismissed as misidentifications of known animals, but they continue to fuel local legends. The tatzel worm remains a popular figure in Alpine folklore, with its image appearing in local art, stories, and festivals. If you like Western dragons, there are several other mythical creatures that capture the imagination with their unique traits and stories. Here are some fascinating dragon-like creatures you can check out. The Hydra is a legendary multi-headed serpent-like creature from Greek mythology, renowned for its regenerative abilities. According to myth, the Hydra resided in the swamps of Lerna and terrorized the surrounding region. It had the terrifying ability to regrow two heads for everyone that was cut off, making it an incredibly difficult foe to defeat. The Hydra was ultimately slain by the hero Hercules as one of his 12 labors. Hercules overcame the Hydra's regenerative powers by cauterizing the neck stumps after decapitating each head, preventing new heads from growing. Western dragons with their fearsome appearances and legendary powers have left an indelible mark on European cultures and mythology. These formidable beings symbolize chaos, danger, and greed, yet continue to fascinate and inspire through stories, legends, and modern media. If you enjoyed this exploration into dragon lore, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more mythical adventures. Until next time, 
Stay curious and keep questioning.